So hello everybody and welcome to your next C++ Made Easy HD tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to continue learning about uh, the container classes. So in this um, in this tutorial we're gonna, just going to be learning about queues. So we learned about stacks previously and a queue is the kind of like the exact opposite of a stack. And the way uh, the stack worked is that it was, um, the way it worked was last in, first out, uh, where a queue is first in, first out. And you'll see what I mean by that later. So a lot of it is the same. So we, we have to include the queue class, and then we put it, we can put a value in there, and uh, we'll just call this queue. And it's a good reason why we shouldn't use uh, using namespace std. If we put using namespace std, then we wouldn't be able to use this name queue right here. But because we don't put using namespace std, then we can specify what we're using and still name it queue there. So there's no naming clashes or whatever. Anyways, I'll put uh, queue.push1, queue.push2, queue.push three okay so now let's call stdc out and we're gonna call q dot front so as we can guess it shows the first element that we inputted so if you want to think of a queue, you can think of a queue as a line or something, right? Um, say you're lining up for an item or you're lining up like a new movies coming out or like new shoes or a new video games coming out and you're the first person waiting in the line for it or it's Boxing Day or, or Black Friday or something. You're lining up for it, right? Um, so the queue is like a line. So if you do Q dot front, this is the front of the line, right? So this is the first person or whatever. Secondly, uh, we have um, the next one is back. And the back is whoever's at the back of the line. So if you reach there too late and you're at the back of the line, um, this is what you'll see. So we'll see the number three. Oh, sorry. Let me run that again. So as you can see, we see the number three okay so what are some uses of queues and whatever right uh the uses of queues could be like in a game if you have an order or something uh say uh like kind of like stacks if you want to have a battle system or whatever and you had an order for people to attack a turn-based battle system then you could set that in a queue once they attack you remove them from the queue because they're in the front of the queue and so on and so forth but now let's look at the biggest difference between a queue and a stack. So if I call queue.pop and I'm going to call queue.back. Now in a stack, what the stack would do, it was a last in first out method. So before in a stack, if we call queue.pop, three would be removed. Let's run this and see if it's indeed removed. It's still there. It's still there. But if we put Q dot front and run this, sorry. So if we do, uh, if we run this and we put Q dot front, we see two is there. Okay. So what is the what's the biggest difference? So and then instead of removing the last element like stacks do queues remove the first element so whatever went in first is the first one that will come out so it's like a line you you're the first person to line up so once you get your item you're the first one out of there right and that's the way queues work so they're exactly like stacks but stacks remove what's on the back of the list and queues remove what's at the front of the list so that is the main difference between the two there's not much anything uh, different between the two, but that's that's basically it. So I'm going to end this tutorial here. I think you got the gist of it. You can practice it um, and stuff like that, but it's really not too hard to grasp. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. 
And if you need help, don't forget to post on my forum. So that's it for now, and bye.